let's quickly write down then what our calculated delta G was. That was equal to minus 374.4 kilojoules per mole. And then we have the entropy term, which is minus the temperature, 298 Kelvin times 0 0.040. Now I've converted this to kilojoules by dividing it by 1,000. So that's kilojoules per mole per degree Kelvin. Now, that gives us a delta G of minus 386.4 kilojoules per mole. One thing we always do in this course is we always sketch out the free energy surface. So this is delta G going from reactants to products. And of course, we can consume energy from the battery by having the reaction go in the forward direction. But we can recharge the battery by driving that reaction in the opposite direction by applying a reverse voltage, which is what the alternator does. But nevertheless, we have a minus 386.4 kilojoule per mole drop in Gibbs free energy. And so when we start with a fully charged battery, we're going to start here, where Q is much less than K equilibrium. And we're going to move down this curve a certain distance, depending on how much energy we extract from that battery. So we now know that the equilibrium point lies far to the right. And we can map out, then, what happens to this system as we convert reactants to, to products. So we're going to focus on the temperature dependence. So this is, this is what gets very interesting. So we start out with our expression for delta G, which is equal to RT times log of Q over the equilibrium constant. And we remind ourselves that this is always less than 0. Now let's work a couple of examples. Let's take the example of Q over K equilibrium equaling 0.01. Or I can rewrite that as Q is equal to 0 0.01 times K equilibrium. And that tells me immediately where I'm sitting. That I'm sitting way over here to the left fully charged. And but what we want to calculate then is log of Q over the equilibrium constant. And when I do that, that's equal to minus 4.61. OK. Now, as the battery discharges, K over equilibrium increases. So we're moving down the free energy slope spontaneously. And let's take a look at where we have Q over the equilibrium constant of 0.5. So we're sitting down here. And I can write this then just to remind myself that's 0 0.5 times K equilibrium. So I can locate it on my chart. And in this case, we have log of Q over the equilibrium constant. And that is equal to minus 0 0.69. Now, that means delta G is equal to minus 0 0.69 times RT. So as we decrease the temperature, delta G becomes less negative. But because E cell is equal to minus delta G over NF, the cell voltage decreases. So this is the key to cold starts in the morning. The temperature is very cold. That means the delta G is less negative, And so the cell voltage decreases. And that's the fundamental thermodynamic reason why your car won't start in the morning when it's cold and the battery isn't fully charged. So um, this then couples us back to understanding the response of this lead acid battery that we're all acquainted with. But it ties it back to electrochemistry, to thermodynamics, and to acid-base reactions.